India has reported at least five deaths this season associated with H3N2, a subtype of the influenza virus. The state of Maharashtra recorded two deaths, while Gujarat, Karnataka and Haryana reported one death each. So, why is it a concern for India? H3N2 is a strain responsible for one of the three respiratory pandemics in the past century. Often described as the problem child of the seasonal flu, the H3N2 outbreak is characterized by a more severe illness lasting longer. Belonging to the flu category, the virus has the capability to cause damage to the lungs with a fever. However, H3N2 isn't exactly a novel virus. In 2018, it wreaked havoc in the United States. This year, it is India's turn. India has recorded almost 600 influenza cases, of which 451 of them have been classified as H3N2. 361 cases of influenza infections were reported in the state of Maharashtra, while Puducherry reported 79 influenza cases according to the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Of the hospitalized patients, 6% had clinical signs of pneumonia, 7% went on to develop severe disease requiring attention by intensive care units, while 10% needed supplemental oxygen. As the spread of the virus has gained momentum, several state governments have begun initiating mitigation measures. The Puducherry government announced that all schools up to Class 8 will remain closed from 16th March to 26th March in the Union Territory. The first detection of H3N2 dates back to 1968 from Hong Kong where the virus jumped into humans, resulting in more than a million deaths worldwide. We are yet to fully understand why an H3N2 infection is so debilitating. This, coupled with its fast mutating characteristic, makes developing vaccines not just essential, but also tricky.